Where are the masks going? Are they going out the back door? I have been wearing this surgical mask for two days. I'm on the third day of using my N95. They've been delivering for years 10 to 20,000 masks, okay. How do we go from 10,000 masks to 300,000? I'll tell you how as a healthcare worker, because we have a pandemic. The richest country in the Western world in 2020. The strongest economy in the world. This is actual real life in the hospital now. They give you a paper bag. Paper bag where I store a face shield and an N95 mask. And I have to bring it to and from work every day. Do you think that that sounds safe? Clean it between patients, use it until it breaks. Unacceptable. Especially because I am 16 weeks pregnant. We're delivering millions and millions of different products and all we do is hear that, can you get some more? To say that we are not using our masks correctly or that we're hoarding them. It's not, I don't think it's hoarding. I think it's maybe worse than hoarding. That's completely, completely preposterous. What we're seeing hospital workers do is actually going out and finding protective equipment in whatever possible way we can. When you are intubating a patient, particles from the patient are released into the air and it becomes increasingly dangerous for anybody that's in the immediate vicinity. Without this PPE, we won't need the ventilators because none of us will be around to run them. We're at risk. The patients are at risk. Our families who we're going home to, they're at risk. The grocery store clerks that I go buy my groceries from, they're at risk. We need proper PPE and we need supplies of it today. Not next week, not in two weeks, not in a month. We need it now. I'm not going to give up no matter what. I still love my job and I'm going to do everything in my power to save lives. President Trump, at some point you're going to face the end of your own life. Think about how you should be treating the people who are going to be taking care of you. We shouldn't be losing talented healthcare workers because of a lack of protective equipment when people are just showing up trying to do their job. It's wrong. We should all be ashamed that it's happening.